can show my belt. There are only a few hotel chains around the world that are considered ultra luxury. Hotels that go beyond their five stars and provide something even more. Personalized butler service, remembering every guest's name, ultra high quality breakfast, world class bedding, iconic and convenient locations, and more. The most luxurious such hotel chain with a sizable global footprint is the Four Seasons. No, 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 not that Four Seasons. And no, not that Four Seasons either. This Four Seasons. As with all city hotels, the price of the property varies a lot by location. In Bangkok, you can stay at a five-star hotel for the price of a three- or two-star hotel in New York. Today, we're staying at the cheapest Four Seasons in the world for a price you won't believe is real. It is the most pleasant day we've ever experienced in Kuala Lumpur, over 10 plus visits. Personally, I adore this city. Oscar loves it, but for me, it's really next level. So we're doing this thing this year where we're trying all the different hotels surrounding Surya KLCC, which is just the hub to be at in Kuala Lumpur. And today we're trying the most expensive hotel yet. But by this hotel standards, it's not expensive at all. That's the building. <laughs> not these, not the Patronas, but Right here. We spent our first two nights in Kuala Lumpur at a much, much cheaper hotel, but the benefit there was that they had a washing machine so we could finally do laundry after almost two weeks of traveling without washing a single item. But before we check into the hotel, let's have some lunch. Is it good boba? Forgot to adjust the sugar. Here we have our Malay feast, nasi lemak, the national dish of Malaysia, satay, tofu, and enoki mushroom, and some very hearty detox mushroom soup. I am so excited. Food in Malaysia is incredible. Make sure to stay until the end of the video to get our final conclusions on whether this day was worth it and whether we'll try to get this deal again. All right, it is time to leave our current right, hotel. Bye. So this is the laundry that this hotel has amazingly enabled us to do. It's really one of the biggest headaches that we don't share. If only the four seasons at washing machines, huh? Mm. And you may ask, why are we making such a big deal about staying at a four seasons? Well, we are a kind of hotel enthusiast and we've never stayed at one before, First but time. we have some friends, the top five family, who <laughs> rave about the four seasons so much. You read about it online, people are like, there's nothing like it. It's time to try it out. <laughs> like, ourselves. okay, well, we're staying down the block at an Airbnb, <laughs> but also this bed has been so so amazing that I have a hard time imagining how the Four Seasons bed could be any better. And don't worry, this video is not only going to be about a hotel, we're going to show you some of our favorite things to do in Kale, because it's about time. But we're ready for the luxury. <laughs> Let's go. We pulled up to the hotel and right away the luxury began. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you what so much. This? Ah, okay, nice. Thank you so much. Obviously, recording during check in is a bit hard, but oh my god, this is the thing we love about Asia though. Like, it never feels stuffy when people talk to you. Like, even at a place like this where you expect everyone to be very, like, ha ha, do, 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 do. everyone just like jokes around and is so friendly and just like cracks jokes all the time. It's amazing. Heading up. <laughs> so, obviously, we got the lowest floor, which is expected when we booked such a discounted rate. And I'll tell you more about the rate in a second, but one thing we noticed is that there's just so much space. The ceilings are so high. Everything is just so much more space than you need. Here's our room. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> Okay, let's let, let's do a tour. And we just have to record so we get our genuine first impressions because I already walked into the bathroom and again I was like, oh, this way. Yeah, not bad. Again, it's like so spacious. It's so insanely spacious. There's just something about it that feels so luxurious. I mean, of course, it's all the finishes. The smell, the smell, guys. But look at the toilet room. Mm -hmm. I think it's a Japanese toilet. There's some controls here. We'll, we'll check those out in a second. Beautiful bathtub, oh my God. Now, the bedroom, really our first impressions. <laughs> Look at those pillows. I, I don't know, those don't look especially comfortable, but. But, I mean, we get three pillows each and they're so like plush. Marble table. Okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna like spoil anything. I won't jump in the bed yet. <laughs> I 
I just realized, I was like, oh, this is a normal closet or something. And then I went, Ugh. Oh, This is wow. the most extra mini bar I've seen in my life. Look at this. There's oil. We started drinking tea in the mornings, just to have some sort of morning routine, something that we can wake up with. And here we have an option between six different types of tea. Oh, gray. We have organic peppermint. We got Japanese sencha. Oh, that sounds... <laughs> Very, very exotic. Jasmine green tea, organic Earl Grey Supreme, and English breakfast, if you're the more traditional type. I was like, watch them come now with the bags while Oscar's like, <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Delphire. Help is on the way, dear. So obviously it will make more sense to review the bed after one night. Not review, just tell you how it was, but I want to feel it. <laughs> the initial Let's go. Review. <sighs> Wait, I can't show my belt. Um, it's hard to tell. Feels good. Feels very nice. <laughs> Feels like a cloud. <laughs> hard to tell. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. As far as beds go. Wait, what do you mean as far as beds go? <laughs> like, as if beds are not actually, the most comfortable thing ever. my preference has always been to sleep on the floor if I oh can. Oh my god. The pillows. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. We're <laughs> just sinking into this. Immediately I just want to sleep. Immediately yes. <laughs> When I went into the bathroom now, the toilet opened itself, the toilet seat is heated, then when I stood up, it flushed and closed itself. Okay. I'm pretty sure they think they gave us the worst view, but to be honest, I love this. Like, we get to see all this greenery, and it doesn't really feel like we're in the center of one of the biggest cities in Asia. So how much did we pay for this? I think Americans will be extremely shocked when they find out this was $200 a night. That was not booking through the Four Seasons website or any normal travel agencies. I always compare the prices on Google Hotels. This is not sponsored, but there you can see how much it is to book through all the different travel agencies. And usually in Asia, you can book through Kluke, or in this case, I booked through trip.com, which I've never booked through before. So I was a bit worried, but the price was so much lower than booking through anywhere else. And it worked out. So we got a Four Seasons for $200 dollars a night we're still only staying two nights because two hundred dollars a night is a lot to spend in malaysia so both of us have actually studied the very basics of bahasa on duolingo <laughs> and one thing we can say is aku minum air. obviously this is four seasons water and not just any type of water so i guess this would be aku minum luxury air <laughs> Pretty sure the umbrellas are supposed to be one male and one female because this is like a very small, dainty little. <laughs> but now we will finally be those people walking around town with Four Seasons umbrellas. <laughs> our whole lives have led up to this moment. One of our favorite shows is Curb Your Enthusiasm, and I don't know if you've seen that episode where he goes to the sushi place and they're going on about the hotel umbrella. That's how this feels. <laughs> I want that umbrella. That's my umbrella. It is not your umbrella. <laughs> Before the pandemic, as we were traveling a lot around Asia, we'd stop in KL all the time just to eat, relax, shop, and most importantly, focus on work. The restaurant we're about to show you now is an absolute must every time we stop by, and you'll see why in a second. Today, the time has finally come to take you to one of our top three restaurants in the entire world. And I can't believe we've never vlogged from here yet, but this is the place I missed most during the pandemic. Two full years, actually two and a half years. I was dying to come back. And now it's our second time back in a month and a half. So woo. I have to confirm, like Dan is not joking. He would literally wake up and be like, I had a dream about nature's vegetarian KL yeah, last night. Every dream involves them going bankrupt and it turns into a nightmare. <laughs> As you probably know, Dan is the bigger foodie of the two of us. So obviously I'm very excited too about all these restaurants, but Dan's level of enthusiasm is just astronomical in comparison to pretty much anyone else's. This is our crack. <laughs> that is probably at least 40% of why we came to this restaurant in the first place. Those barbecue buns. I mean, even I have dreams about those, to be honest. So we went a little bit crazy today with our food orders. Here's everything we ordered. No, I'm kidding. Let's <laughs> work out later. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. So we're trying a couple dishes here that we haven't tried before. This is barbecue veggie meat. And the menu looks like char sui. Char siu. Char siu. Yeah. Char siu, but... So freaking good. Hey, satay. Yes, I mean, we know this is good. <laughs> I mean, of course, one of the best things. Mm. When it comes to the barbecue meat buns, or veggie meat buns first, we dip in this little sauce mix here. And then, our meat buns is adding just a bit of something sauce. And... Mm. Mm. It's like transporting myself oh, yeah. to another dimension. Oh my god, it's so sad oh. leaving there every time, not knowing when we'll be back. The food was divine. Yeah, like for every sure. time it's good, but today for some reason it was even better than usual. I think it's because we finally vlogged it. We had yeah. to be even more surprised. Yeah. And our routine when we go there is always very healthy because afterwards there's an amazing place in Bangsa Village Mall just down the street that we're going to show you next. Trying the durian flavor, which we've never seen before because I don't know. Let's see if it tastes like sweat, just like the fruit. Oh wow. Well. Can't do durian. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't guess it already, this is vegan ice cream from a Singaporean brand. It's literally a three minute walk from the restaurant. Oh my god, I just burped durian flavor. <laughs> Ew. The pandan is amazing. We love pandan flavor. Caramel chocolate swirl. This is really our holy duo. In Oh, yep, it's a ritual. Let's continue the feast. So we just got back from the mall and we were like, I wonder if there's any co-working spaces in the hotel. So we got to exploring this iPad and we just realized that you can order an insane amount of things to your room. Like, okay, we just have to show you. Anything you could need, like full body pillow, orthopedic pillow, plush mattress topper, satin hangers, you can order more shower gel, cotton pad, cotton swab, emery board, a ring light, a yoga mat for the room, crib. It's, yeah, it's really like insane. <laughs> I'm like, I wish you had known this before I would have ordered so much unnecessary stuff. <laughs> Satin hangers, yes please. The following morning, we were so excited to check out the breakfast buffet. Good morning, guys. I feel like a little child with my baby. I'm like, hello. We are here at breakfast. I would say this is definitely the most international breakfast buffet we've had in Southeast Asia. The Middle East is usually the best since they gather every country, but here we have Middle Eastern, Indian, Chinese, Malay, Western. It's amazing. Um, I think this orange is too fancy for me. Uh, orange grilli with the um, strawberry uh, jam on top. Not jam, compote. Let's get this up. Okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> the flavor really evolves. I always. I always find it pretty funny that maybe apart from the US, it's always non-Christian majority countries that decorate the most for Christmas. So we decided to take a little walk home because we haven't been out much today. The heat combined with the sort of constant rain has prevented us. In my humble opinion, although the Petronas are far from being the tallest buildings in the world, they are probably the most beautiful out of all super tall buildings I can think of. My top three <laughs> would probably be the Petronas. Actually, Burj Khalifa is really stunning. And Taipei 101. But that's just in my humble opinion. <laughs> And then a ride to the airport with the sweetest and funniest woman. Penang. Hey, from Penang. Oh. Ah. Is KL very different from Penang? Penang, a little bit hot. KL, raining, raining, every day rain. I like it. Yeah. Oh, you like it? <laughs> yeah, I like KL 
weather okay. Ah, Sweden is very cold. Oh, you know? Sweden cold. Yeah, yeah, very cold. I got one of friend in uh, Sweden, or she also from. Oh really? Uh, last time I worked in a Soho in a London, so I oh. got a lot of colleagues from Sweden. Okay, yeah. wow. Uh, <laughs> what did, what did you do in London? I oh, as a waitress. Dim sum in the London very yeah. nice. Delicious here, cannot compare. Oh yeah. <laughs> really? Did you like living there? I like there in Europe because it's very relaxed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Ikea from Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ikea, <laughs> Volvo, cars, H&M, clothing, also uh, yes. Swedish. H&M also from Sweden. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, H&M, Sweden. <laughs> Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> That's so, so sweet. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, will we be back at the Four Seasons Kuala Lumpur? Honestly, probably not. While the value for money is insanely good compared to other Four Seasons around the world, other five or four-star hotels in KL are so affordable overall that we can't justify the additional premium. In our experience, once you reach a certain level of quality and service, you start getting diminished marginal returns. It's fun to have a special experience like this once in a while, and obviously we only book this because of the relatively cheap price, but especially when it comes to city hotels, it's very hard for ultra luxury properties to distinguish themselves enough to add more value. That's just our opinion, but we'd love to hear what you think too. What's your experience with staying at different classes of hotels? What do you feel justifies paying more for a pricier property? Anyway, guys, take care as always. And until you hear from us again, see you around the world.